Hey guys, time to record again, I suppose. So, hold on. Just disconnect from there. Okay, so I'm doing this whilst also playing, um, whilst also uploading the first episode, so. Yeah. Anyway, last time we left off, we were falling down the garbage chute. Now, we continue falling down said garbage chute. Because. Garbage chute. Fucking laser sights. Incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. The dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. The biggest lesson I learned from what you did. I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. I don't feel like I'm supposed to go there. Well, you know, right? Right! Yeah, it's been a while since I last played this, and last time I was on computer. Oh, no, the earth box. Come on. I gotta stop messing around. Okay. Nineteen. Yeah. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. 
After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Hi, Dad. Should be just about ready to do Your again. Your room smells like a bit of B.O. Russ. Have you put any odor on today? No. Do that. Okay. It smells like sweat. Okay, okay. I'm recording. I'm going to say that. Okay. It's time. We need to go to the post office. Uh huh. I'm going to have a shower. Get ready to go. Then we're going to go in about five minutes. Okay. Right. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. <laughs> you should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Cool. Aperture laboratory. Laboratories. 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 This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Well done. Here come the test results. Oh. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. 
We weren't even testing for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gladys. Very toxic. I get it. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on <laughs> a few pounds. <laughs> she, she got, she's fat. Okay. Wow. Talks and talks. But fair enough, I guess. I did kill you. Well, I didn't. That's funny. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. Uh, no. Oh, shoot. Give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. What hurts? I didn't do anything wrong except not shoot people. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Oh. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Marco! Polo! Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. Hmm? So sometimes there's still trash okay. in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you.
You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it nailed right over your head, which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more so, easily startled by that by Yeah. Uh, you need that form, the text form I printed out for you? Yeah. Whereabouts is that? It's in the thought. It's in the thing. So, how, what happened with it? Oh, this is your report. Yeah. Did you go with a 